Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from isurautomation.com and welcome to another new course which I am releasing today in our Udemy on automation testing with Puppeteer course. And this is the first ever course on the internet which talked so much about Puppeteer and we are going to be talking about that in this particular course. And in this video, we are going to be discussing completely about the course, the agenda and what are the great things that we'll be talking in this course. Alright, so let's get started. So in this course, Automation Testing with Puppeteer, we are going to be talking about Puppeteer a lot from complete basic to complete advanced. So Puppeteer, if you don't heard about it, is a node library which provides a high level API to control Chrome or Chromium over the DevTool protocol. And Puppeteer runs headless by default but can be configured to run on Chrome or Chromium. So Puppeteer by itself is actually developed by the Google team or the Google dev tool team which develops the all great things that you are seeing today and enjoying the Chrome and even Microsoft is also using the Chrome for their Edge project. So you can see that Chromium is everywhere right now. So this is exactly the same team which is developing the Puppeteer tool as well. And again, Puppeteer is not limited to just Chrome. It is currently being supported by Firefox as well. Like most of the APIs currently are supported. So I guess there are totally 86% of the APIs of Puppeteer for Chrome is right now supported in Puppeteer for Firefox as well. So it is not just limited to Chrome, but it is also supported for the Firefox browser. And as that said, Puppeteer is getting very, very popular right now. A lot of people are right now using Puppeteer, not just the testers, but even developers are so much interested to use Puppeteer because of the nature of the tool, how it is being developed. So it's very, very close to developer and not the testers are limited to use that tool. It's even more open for the developer to start using it. And as that said, as you can see the comparison here with the other tools on the Puppeteer, you can see that the Protractor tool has got somewhere around 8,301 stars and 2,272 forks, but still this tool is something which is developed almost like some years before, and I guess it's more than six years old, but still you can see that it has around 8,300 stars and the number of commits are close to 1,800. Again, this tool is kind of very, very famous and popular. The reason is because Protractor is very, very good for Angular application automation on even for the React based application. But right now Angular and React are changing so frequently and there needs to be a tool which actually support that very well. If you compare to Puppeteer, the Cypress is doing very, very good in this department. And then Selenium. Selenium is also very, very popular and you can see the number of stars and commit it's also much, much higher than Protractor, but still, as you can see, Selenium has so many different language binding and this number of stars and forks and commits that you see in here is, is actually higher than compared to Protractor. And again, Selenium has got so much of tractions and community support compared to any other tool available in the market. The final tool, as you can see in here, is the Cypress automation testing tool. And again, we have discussed a lot about Cypress in my other courses. But you can see that Cypress has got so much of commits and so many stars than compared to the Protractor and pretty close to Selenium actually. And you can see that this is a new tool. I guess it's three years old and it has got so much of traction. The last tool that we're going to discuss in this particular course is actually Puppeteer. And as you can see in the Puppeteer, it has got so many stars guys. It has got almost 52,929 stars and 4,929 forks and it has 1,563 commits and you can see that the frequency of the release or updates happened to this particular Puppeteer tool is much much higher than any tools that you are seeing right now in this particular slide, at least the most popular tools available in the market right now. And the reason is because every time new Chromium is being released, Puppeteer is also updated along the Chromium and the Chrome is pretty awesome and that's the reason Puppeteer is gaining so much of traction than compared to any other tool right now and that's the reason it is gaining so much of popularity than compared to any other tool available in the market today. 
And there are so many different features available in Puppeteer, which we'll be discussing in this course, something like screenshot generation, something like PDF support, and testing the Chrome extension supports, and also parallel execution support. And also you can see that there are so many things which we are gonna be bringing in from other tools like page object models, and Cucumber support, and all these things that we'll be bringing in this course as well. So the agenda of the course is this. We are gonna be starting from the basic of the course, and then we'll go all the way to the distinguished features of Puppeteer. And then we'll be talking about integrating Puppeteer with just testing framework and also with Cucumber JS framework. And then we talk about page object model, Cucumber reporting. And then we'll talk about some of the advanced concepts of Puppeteer, like how you can write your own libraries, how you can extend that, how you can write an advanced page object models and stuff. And once again, guys, this course is not just limited to the content that you are going to be seeing in this course right now. This course is going to be an ever expanding course. And as I said before, in the starting of the year in 2019, the era of non synonym automation testing has already begun and many different tools are doing really, really great compared to Selenium itself. So again, as I said before, Cypress is really an awesome tool, which is doing pretty awesome compared to many legacy tools which is available in the market. So Puppeteer is also doing really, really good and it has got so many different unique features which is not available in many other different tools which we have right now. And once again, guys, writing code, installation, and getting started with Puppeteer is very, very easy. And that's what we'll be discussing in this whole course. And I hope you'll enjoy this course. And if you're really interested in this course, please comment your email below or send me an email to the email address that I'm gonna be specifying in this particular description of the video and then you can send me an email and I can send you a coupon code happily to get a good discount for this course. And once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.